Alright guys, we are getting ready to do a little mushroom hunting, we're in Clark County, Illinois, and I believe this is April 13th, yes, so I'm a little late, the truck's a little dirty, Get those. Take that in case we get stuck out here late for the zombies. Alright. Here we are. Walk these trails, get back to the main woods. See if we can't find us any mushrooms. They are finding them in this county and the next county north of us. So, it's my first time this year going. Hopefully we get lucky and see what else we can find. I come across a couple black snakes. Well, as you can see, my bridge is getting washed out. But... I don't really do much deer hunting here anymore. I put this bridge in for a buddy of mine who passed away a few years ago, so I might just take it out completely. We're just going to hit a few spots where I think the grays and maybe some whites might be. And if they're not up, we may just hit the pond so we can't catch the crappie. This is See right there folks. I don't know if you can see it. It's a small one. Right there's another one. Alright. Now that I got my eye, first one in 11, 12 months, now it'll start popping up to me a bit more. I might have hoped yeah, I didn't step on any. I see one behind me now. I see a couple behind me. Well, I can. We might actually have some luck today. These are pretty small. I probably need the I probably should have had the head mount on instead of the chest mount for this I've just seen another one back here behind me and now I don't know where it's at
Here's a pretty decent one. Best one yet. It, this isn't the time for the big yellows yet. We're a few weeks away from that. But these still taste pretty good. I'm out here by myself because Aaron, the other part of Gansol Games, he's probably, I don't know, campaigning to stop building the wall or doing something liberal like that. And once we get into yellow season, I'll explain to you how I find those and what I look for to find them. These grays. I really have no rhyme or reason besides if you find a place where you find them then I would come back to it every year because they seem to grow in the same area it's not like yellows where they grow around dead elms or cottonwoods or stuff like that here's another pretty good one over here definitely need to bring the head mount on mushroom adventures. Now, whatever the reason is that I find these here, this stump right here, this stump that's probably been here 20 years, it's just my, I see another one over there on the other side of it now. It's what I look for. I, I don't, they're not growing around the stump. That just tells me I'm in the right location where I find grays every year. I say stump, it's a fallen tree, not a stump. Well, that's that little patch. On to the next one. Alright guys, we're back. Just walked to, oh, maybe 75 yards to my next patch I wasn't going to turn the camera on but you can see right there that's a white one in this place I find white ones here I never find a lot but they're usually bigger and they taste good we'll see if I find any more what this is, is there's a bunch of ash trees and 
old falling down. I really don't understand how this ground is the way it is, but oh, crikey. Look at this guy right beside me. I could have stepped on him. That's a dandy white one. Yep. So we'll see this. There might be any more up than what I thought. This time last year I'd already found three bunches of According to my Facebook, I just haven't been out. This year's been a little different. So, I'm sure I'm a little late. I probably could have already had a couple messes. But, we'll see. The grass grows up in here real high, but if you if you look careful, a lot of times you can find them white ones in this tall natural growth, whatever it is. It looks like there's some itch weed and other stuff growing in here. I usually don't go this direction yet. I usually circle around this hole and then I come back up here, but I don't want to miss and forget where I seen this one at. I don't know if he fell over. Hey, he's actually kind of old. Been up for a few days. Aaron's had any progress with stopping the wall being built. I don't know where he's protesting at today, but I don't know if he's in Mexico or Texas. Somewhere along the border, I'm sure. One day I was talking to Scott and I said we should get our fishing license for Indiana and start doing some fishing over there. Scott says, no, I don't want to go to Indiana. I like fishing here in Illinois. And I said, Scott, you know what your problem is? You don't like change. You like for everything to be the same way all the time. He said, that's not true. I don't mind change. Check out this next scene. Well, we're going to go back up here because I'm a creature of habit. I don't like to interrupt my routines. I'm going to go the way I normally go. This old elm tree I just stepped over, I used to have a tree stand in that 15, 20 years ago. Killed a lot of deer out of that. She gave up on me. Then we get out here in this tall grass. We got this ash tree. We got a couple other ash trees over there. I find them white ones growing up in this growth. May apples are fanning out, so 
also make sliding them fun. Head, folks. There you have it, a pecker head. Pretty good eating too. Not as good as the morels. If they're up, I see another one. Another pecker head that it's over there. This ain't even worth picking, it's so skinny. Alright, if you learned anything from the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. Look forward to more Gansaw Games videos.